and the CDT1, you know, okay. So I also hear we also we obviously know that you you don't like to help blind people. No, uh, and that's that's definitely not the reason why you, you get involved. I know, frankly, if they can't they find their way out the door, then it's not my. I mean, they should have, they they should just have things delivered. Yeah, that's that's my <laughs> that's, feeling. That's right. That's right. Honestly, uh, not. you like to guide people because it helps your ego. Yes, it does. I feel like my, well, it's not so much my ego because my ego is already enormous. Basically, it like, impresses the checks. Yeah, that's good. What I do is uh, is I go into bars and. Uh, when a woman is walking down the hallway, I grab her and move her, and then I say, oh, I'm sorry, I am a professional guide for blind people, and that was just a reflexive act to keep you from walking into something. Excuse me. So then, of course, I get that out early, right? And then they're like, oh, what a heroic and selfless person. Okay. I mean, or, that doesn't last very or long. Or selfless person, okay. Exactly. Or they, you um, know, they get they get to know me and it doesn't last, but it's, the last it's good for getting phone numbers. The last yes, question yes. is, because you could go ever oh, yeah. about this, it's, um, well, last night we went to the Red Sox game, and I was uh, with Dan Streetman here, who's the videographer here. Uh, we were playing blind baseball, you know, um, basically, you know, sitting there because I there was uh, the Orioles were wearing some other color pants. They, they yes. were they were non-existent. They fuchsia. were shows. They were wearing um, fuchsia. But the White Sox were wearing white pants. So wait a um, minute, what Sox? The, this is why tickets are wasted on the, you. The red, the red, Honest to God. The Red Sox. You don't wearing, even know what color socks are wearing. Hey, why do we bring you? The Red what? Sox were wearing uh, white pants. Yes, they were. So last night in blind baseball, they were called the white pants. The white because pants. that's all I could see was the white pants. Really? Is that but, what you're seeing? You're yeah, seeing like yeah. white well, pants. Well, no, no, not not pants. White gloves. But we we knew they were pants. Yeah. So when we heard the bat hit the ball, we knew something went on. And uh, if the white pants were on the field, then that means the Red Sox were. were were uh, in the field, right? And if the crowd cheered, the let men of it must have been an out. This this kind of baseball but is not conducive to drinking. There's a lot of it's yeah. a bad there's bad ERAs in my baseball. Oh yeah, the, the ERA is horrible. But that's not the point. What is the point? The point is that Peter Sagal yes. was asked and um, you know encouraged to come down and hang out with the blind kids, but instead he was yeah. up in the box with the I, owner of the Red Sox. I had mentioned this was not. <laughs> What? We're doing the ring. Sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> Further I, I, portraying I, 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 that he doesn't I, I, really care. care. About I don't really care about the blankets. Um, you know what? I, what's really frustrating is that in order to cover my exit, I asked Josh Warren, the head of team of division, to tell the blind kids that I was there. I was just feeling very quiet, and that way. They would have the pleasure of my company without my having to be there, but he didn't. Fuck. No. But then, but then I heard that you you repetitively tweeted how you were up in the, in well, the press box. I guess you have to you help your ego. Yeah. No. What happened was is is we had done a radio show the night before with Dick Flavin, who was okay. the who was the uh, poet laureate of the Boston Red Sox. Okay. And I was sitting there with my friend, uh, waiting for you guys to appear. I don't know. I mean, I don't know why you couldn't find the stadium. What are you? <laughs> Fine. That's right. And uh, while we were waiting for you guys, this Dick Flavin came down and he said, "Come with me." And we, I, don't, I thought he was going to give us a little tour of the PA box. Uh, and well, I guess when you're Peter Sago, that's just what happens. He but walked into Larry Latino's the, the, box. Okay, and you can stop talking now, Peter. It's nice. The, the point of the story is, is Peter. You know, he he, he, he loves Team with the Vision. He's helped raise a lot of money for the Team with the Vision, but he really doesn't care about the blind people. But um, you know, he still is supportive of Team with the Vision. It's, it's, I'm basically in it for myself. <laughs> 